Yeah, well, we're strategic spatial development planners. We work around the world. We've worked in over 105 countries. We work with uh, private sector, international financial institutions, NGOs. What we're trying to achieve is broad-based economic growth and broad-based uh, ecosystem conservation because those two aspects are intricately linked. First thing is we always go at a region and look at everything. We look at the whole ecological system, the natural resource base. We find the environmentally sensitive areas. We find degraded landscapes or watersheds. We look at the river systems, the coastal zones. We really try to understand the whole natural system, how it's working, how it's not working, what the issues are. We look at the same time at the socioeconomic conditions, the levels of poverty, where people live, why they live there, what's their history, how they migrate or move to these regions, how they're using the landscape. And, and we really try to understand the fundamental uh, biophysical, socioeconomic baseline. What's there and what's going on. So economics play a big role in our planning. Most land planning projects uh, focus on uh, land use and often do macro zoning type schemes where they draw lines around areas that are already in a certain land use and just perpetuate that land use. So we'll take a completely different approach because when we understand the dynamics, we find that maybe that land use isn't really appropriate. We may find there's other areas nearby that have much greater potential, but they're not accessible. They need roads, they need bridges. But what we try to do is take the information and create a solid foundation, including the research and including the spatial dimensions so that we can uh, really come up with uh, innovative, unique uh, approaches to, to develop these regions. Can we find synergies with the places where there might be close proximity once you have agriculture and a, forestry and say tourism happening in the same area, you have three sectors who can work together to build that area. We find that the winners in this is basically everywhere. We're looking for a win-win situation. We're finding that our projects not only save private sector companies, governments, and, uh, and sector disciplines like fisheries hundreds of millions of dollars because we're seeing the, the linkages. We're seeing cause and effect much more clearly than than people are if they're looking at a, a region or a coastal zone uh, one sector at a time.